Now it's over to Chef Mark, who's joined by author Kathy Patterson. Good morning, team. Good morning. Good well, morning. welcome, Kathy. Welcome Thank to you. the kitchen. Um, so I've just been having a look through your beautiful new book, and it's fantastic. And it's got meat, meat, and more meat in here, which is great. We love meat around good, in this kitchen. Good. I like your noises <laughs> <laughs> when you're going through it. Well, you know it's a good book yeah, if you're yeah. making noises. And we've got some beautiful ingredients here. So what are we going to be uh, cooking today? Well, I'm going to start off with the cracker bread, which nice. is a sort of a crisp breedy type. It looks like a cracker, but it's actually called cracker bread. Fantastic. And lots of grains as well. Yeah, in lots of grains in there. And then we're going to make a quick tomato salad with a bit of chilli and a bit of spring onion and lots of herbs. Fantastic. And then we'll cook the lamb fillets and put that with a little bit of strained yoghurt. Oh, beautiful. Well, it sounds great and mm. it's the perfect summer recipe mm. so you can make this at home as soon as the weather becomes mm. beautiful. Exactly. It is great to have you with us. We're in the Beko kitchen and we welcome food writer Cathy Patterson to the show. How are you, Cathy? Good, thank you. How are you? Good, I'm excited. Two quality chefs oh, in the kitchen. You don't have to do any work today. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm just here to hold the book today. <laughs> oh, good. Book so, stand. Yeah, so this is your book, of course, with a mm. team of people that you put together. We're going to make a recipe out of that. This is the one we're making, is it? Uh, no, no, that's not, that's not but, the one but we're making. Show as many as you can. No, but we, we like yeah. that recipe. Yeah, we like right. that. A beautiful, summery, healthy salad mm. and just mm. made better by a massive slab of eye fillet. <laughs> yeah. it's My yeah. kind of salad. I love yeah. it. I yeah, love I, it. I know. Yeah, so it's all meat, isn't it? All beef and lamb, yes, which we yes, love. Yes. So we're going to make the cracker bread first. Yes, we are. Well, um, we're just adding in the seeds here. Yeah. So we've got sesame seeds, linseed, mm. pumpkin seed, and that's some uh, toasted cumin seed. Nice. And then so that's a linseed going in there. And what, uh, what does this add to the dish? Oh, well, well I sort of did it, did it as a finger food type thing to start with. Nice, okay, yeah. cool. And then um, and I changed my mind when I've been doing it lately. Yeah. I do that all the time. That's what you can do. Get some more meat in there. That's it. what you can do when you write a book. You can change your mind that's all right. the time. That's right. And so now I sort of serve the cracker bread separately. Oh, okay. I actually try and get it as thinly as I possibly can. Okay. And then the, the lamb fillets and the... The, mm. you know, the salad, tomato salad is really good with it. Nice mm. work. And you grew up on a farm, didn't you? Yes, I did. Right, so, so, you'll, so you'll know all about beef and yeah, lamb. Yeah, beef and lamb. It's big, to me, big to me, close to my heart. And, you know, the New Zealand produces such quality beef and lamb. And, and what I'd like, that you and Tam, the photographer, mm. you, you've gone and visited some certain stations. What drew you to those certain stations that you went and visited? Well, I think it, well, it was sort of a bit... We started with one up north, mm. and then we just we realised that we were going to one that was really of historic significance. Right. So uh, we decided that we would do that, because we could only do four farms, actually. We thought we could do six, but four was quite enough. And so, you know, it's hard. There's so many farmers. Yeah, true. Mm. And they all are very passionate about it, and that is reflective in the beautiful produce that mm. we get to play mm. with, that you get to cook from this book. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, okay, sorry, Mark. Yeah, sorry, I'm just watching yeah. you here. What, has he done everything <laughs> yeah. right? So no, not quite, happened? actually, but that's, oh. quite, that's quite all right. I was going to interrupt, but I thought, no, I won't. I'm sure it'll all be fine in the end, because it doesn't really matter. So what so, have we ended up putting in there? Sorry, I stopped. Everything. We've just thrown everything in. Yeah, okay, so it's cool. had flour no. and a little bit of baking powder, some salt, and then we've added some olive, olive oil, oil and water. So it's quite, as you can see, it's quite wet and yeah. it'll look quite oily as well. So that's how it should be. It's, it's actually perfect consistency. Nice. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So then you just divide it into three. And we'll just, so you, uh, we'll just do one lot first. And you just pop it out onto there. About that much? Yes, that's perfect. And then we just put that onto there. And then you um, press it. it. Yeah, ah, press it. So nice. So, that's so we're going for a really yeah, thin... Really, uh, yeah, I, I like to do three, then you get, can get it really thin, which is really good. And I always roll quite a lot from the middle because it always seems to be thicker in the middle. And, and so what sort of, you know, if we are measuring it, what is it, a millimetre thick, two millimetres thick? Oh. We'll probably just keep yeah. going because yeah. you've got your seeds in there. Yeah. Right. So mm. if, you, if, you, if you get it, it's nice and flat. Oh, so you can see all the seeds yep. popping yeah. through Chefs now. Chefs don't use rollers. <laughs> um, so, and oh, also, like also the size of your baking tray, basically. I mean, not with three because obviously we're making it... Um, a bit smaller, right. but really of, often I just use my baking tray as my guide. But see, that's Tell perfect. Tell me that now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and all the paper, because I've cut the paper for the sort of the side. But you can sort of tell when you lift off the top paper that it's quite thin. <gasps> Look yeah, at see? that. Yeah. Okay. We're going we're gonna to bake it with the between the two sheets. No. Or are you going to take this off? Yeah. So oh, there you, you go. So you, peel yeah. it off gently. So you peel it off. Look at that, Mark. And then you just surprise myself. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> and then if you want to be fussy, you could actually. Cut that now into, oh, right, into so square it up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so um, almost, or into pieces. Just into sort of pieces. Score it. Yeah. Or I don't. I just bake it whole and then break it into pieces afterwards. Nice. But work. it depends how fussy you are. If you want nice looking. 
And do, is your love of meat from the farm, or is it because it is just such a beautiful product to work with? Because, you know, well, you've got this book here. It's full of different recipes. Oh. You just must be playing all the time. Well, probably. <laughs> I mean, I've, I, I just don't feel... I've got a meal. I haven't got a bit of meat on my plate. I'm the same. I'm the same, just quietly. <laughs> I know, but just, you know, it's just not the same, is it? <laughs> OK, so he's done a good job yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah I'm going to pop it in the oven. 180. 180. 25 minutes. 25 minutes. That was fast, yeah. too. I usually turn it round halfway through cooking, because my oven always cooks one... Yeah, either. in case you've got a heat spot there. Yeah. But nice and golden, nice and yeah. crispy, nice and that's, and crispy. that's what you want. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And do you put anything on it, or are you just going to oh, eat it Oh, you can put... Um, before you bake it, you can put some rock salt, you know, okay. flavoured oh, yeah, salt. Yeah, if you want a bit of salt, but it yeah. actually gets quite salty. So, Ooh, yeah. um, but it is quite nice, but I, it's got salt in it. And a nice little snack as well, just to, yeah. just, just to mm. snack on. Yeah, yeah, yeah great, yeah. great weekend snack too, mm. isn't it? So I, we're going to put some um, yoghurt on, actually, strained yoghurt. Oh, so should we quickly make that up? Well, I'll tell you what, you wait there, mm. sort out your yoghurt, we'll come back and we'll also see how to do the spring lamb shortly and we'll hear more about Cathy's book right after we see what Holly is up to. We are cooking from Cathy's book Meat and Three and we've just made the cracker bread and this is it, ta-da, thanks yes. to the magic of television. Isn't already. it? Yes, Look already. Look at that. Yes. Ooh, so I just don't want to eat it. As you can see, it's nice and crispy. Yep. Good colour. Oh, oh, listen to that. Yeah. Listen to that. Yes. Okay, brilliant. So we're going to leave that there yep. in the meantime. Yeah, that's ready yep. to go. We'll leave that there. We'll show you the finished product towards the end of the show right now, though. Right, yoghurt. Yes. So we've, we've hung some yoghurt. Yeah. So this is strained. So basically what you want to do, you've got a cheesecloth or muslin cloth, and then you just get your yoghurt out of the pot, pop it in there, pop it in a sieve with a bowl underneath, and you've got to leave this overnight. Mm. And you can see all the excess liquid, all oh, wow. the whey's um, come off. And then you look at the consistency of the yogurt now. Wow. You can, you can drink that if you want. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, <laughs> so really, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't throw that away. Yeah, too. And, you, you know, so you can see it's, much. You know, it's nice and mm. thick and rich and just, just beautiful. Oh, it is like a cream cheese even. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm going to flavour that up. Yes. And um, we've got some lamb fillets here. So Kathy's going to um, cook those. So Lovely. I got told got told off before because I wanted oh. to see <laughs> the meat. I know. I wanted to put the oil in the pan and it's like. Got to put the um, oil over the meat. Yes. No seasoning, and then cook it. Well, oh, that's no. the thing, that's Kathy, why I with, got the with your book because it's full of tips, you know. I guess. Yes. Tips, well. and also, you know, how to do your vegetables with the meat. So you, you know, it's a full-on cookbook. Peter Gordon wrote the Ford. I know. Isn't I know. He's so good. He no, said so some great things about it too. There's all. Everyone has different ideas about salting and, and putting pepper on, mm. but I think these are so delicate. They don't need any pepper. Okay. They just need a bit of salt. Okay. And I salt afterwards. But, I mean, if you salt first, that's fine. And why have you chosen yeah, this you particular cup? Yeah. Oh, well, because it's so, at the moment with spring, this is just so delicious. Oh, and the yum. And I think one fillet per person is plenty. Yeah. You know, and it's, um, I, I, there's no waste on it. You just take off the little bit of silver skin, and that's it. And they take five minutes to cook. Mm. So I just usually turn them over as soon as they're browned. Yeah, I mean, look how, look how fast it cooks. Yeah. And if important thing as well, rest actually. it. Um, a little bit hotter. A little bit hotter. So hot. sort of medium, medium high, not not high as wood with beef. Okay. Lay them a little bit lower, so you get a nice colour. And then I just turn them over onto your side, and um, five minutes are done. I can smell them already. Yeah. And you then said leave that's them to enough rest. for one person, Mark and I though. Oh, oh no, I've got two bits each to be honest. I know. Beautiful. <laughs> Okay, and how's your yogurt going? Oh, beautiful. beautiful. So we've got some chopped dill through there. We've got a little bit of lemon zest as well. Happy with that? Beautiful. Brilliant. It smells incredible yeah. from here, doesn't it? Yeah, it's so no, fresh. It's so fresh. It's lovely on the cracker bread. Nice. Mm. And what, what is the one thing people do? I mean, with all your experience over the years with beef and lamb, what is the one thing people do wrong a lot with meat? Uh, oh, well, don't, you must have it at room temperature before you start cooking. There you go. So that your timing's perfect. Okay, nice. Mm. There you go. And, it's a simple, and rest it after you've taken, like a fill, like whole life fillet, yeah. rest it for 30 minutes. Won't oh, go cold. No. Oh, really? Put the foil over it loosely, tea towel, and um, it, then it's beautiful. Nice but work. People, yeah, you don't want to cut it too soon, do you, Mark? No. Nope. All the blood runs out. and. Got to, got to rest it. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's so important. And okay. room temperature so it cooks nice and evenly. Mm. And speaking just, of cooking nice, oh, yeah, I'll the smells good. You do that <laughs> and I'll come and talk to Mark. <laughs> I don't mean food. But. So the salad that we're making, um, obviously the go with our lamb. Yep. So what what made you choose this particular salad? Was it the combination of flavours? Yeah, a combination of flavours. And, and I love tomatoes and they're just coming in now, you know, just, just coming into the season. Well, yeah. I know there's hothouse tomatoes, but I like to keep my seasons. Okay. But these, these are great ones. These are grown uh, yeah. by Curious Croppers. Oh, and if you know anything about tomatoes, they, they are the tomato people. Yeah. Beautiful tomatoes. And if I wanted to match my lovely... Uh, 
meat cuts with some of your delicious salads. Is that in the recipe book as well? Oh, totally. And oh, I, and because I actually, when I, I do the vegetables first, oh, okay. and then I buy the meat. Oh, okay, yeah, there so, you go. Yeah. Just pretend that you're going to eat a salad. You just eat, this, just eat a big plate of meat. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, I forgot to make I the salad. <laughs> so they're just about ready. And also I do use the touch method. Yes. So I just um, get your finger and just push down to see if it, how spongy nice, it is. Nice spring. Yeah, if it's too springy, it's still quite rare. And okay. lamb actually wants to be pink, but not rare, does it? No, not, yeah, 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 cook it a little bit further yeah. and let it yeah. rest, nice and pink. Yeah. Lamb's not as forgiving as beef, is it? Beef you can have raw or... Yeah, yeah. But it's lamb's a, not as... Oh, we can have lamb raw, but it's not as forgiving. It's nicer just a little bit more. Yeah. And, and you know, it's such a lean piece of meat as well, mm. you know, even if you cook it a little bit more and let it rest, you know, and it's medium, you know, mm. it's still going to be nice and beautiful, yeah. but, but obviously don't cook it too much more. No. Oh, my no. goodness, it yeah, smells no, so well, good. Well, that's done, that one's done. Oh, so I'm yum. just going to take them and put them on that board. Okay, you go, Normal. get over there. I might actually just pop them on the plate because I don't want lovely juices to um, go... Go oh, into the board. Yum. Okay. And then just a bit of salt. We've got some salt there. Oh, I'd like to put salt. Yes, oh, yeah, salt now. Remember, yeah. she said it's very fragile, this meat, in terms of, you know. It's, it's delicate. 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 So yes. you just need a little bit of salt, yeah. right? Mm. Just a little bit of salt. I'll <laughs> and get there's you a copy all the, of the herbs. Box. All the herbs in the salad add the flavour. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll let you guys finish that up so we can see the finished product at the end of the show. Thank you, Cathy. Thank you. Pleasure. Beautiful. The smells in here are incredible. And Cathy's book, Meat and Three, is in all good bookstores now. So go and grab a coffee before you open up the barbecue. And this recipe is on our website for you to try at home. Oh, I love this part of the show. It's when the food <laughs> arrives. And trust me, it smells delicious. Yeah. Mark and Cathy, well, come on this. over. Mm, thank you. It turned out beautifully, Whoa. isn't it? Yes. What I like about that, beautiful colours, and I'm sure it's going to taste absolutely meat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try a little taste of Oh, she's going to try it. Good. Thank you, Cathy. And that pleasure. book, obviously, I'm just amazing. Up some page. Nice mm. work. Okay, Mark, what are you going to do tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got a Japanese chicken bowl on the menu. Okay, yeah.